Alright, so as I mentioned in the previous video, my narr I lost the narration for that video, thus I had to re-narrate that video, so um, the, end, the end was a little bit silent, so what I said, we're going to be pretty much starting back off in the trophy room, which, as you can see, that's where I am now. Um, <clears throat> so, I can't remember what I was talking about at the end of the, end of the first video. The end of the second narration video, I was just discussing um, where I was and apologizing that I did lose my original narration. Um, I was also talking about other instances you could farm besides Utgard Pinnacle. If Utgard Pinnacle for some reason bored the you know bored the crap out of you, or if you just plain flat out don't like this instance, um, <clears throat> so that's uh, that's something that, that I would like to address again. Is uh, you can pretty much farm any instance. Like I said, if you're unsure whether or not it's going to be good. Send me a uh, send me a message on YouTube. I'll be more than happy to answer you. Um, like a few instances that come to mind that I know aren't good are like Asjul Nerod. You don't want to farm there. That's definitely not any good. Uh, there's just not enough trash. There's it's all bosses. Uh, Old Kingdom might be okay. The farm I'm not 100% sure. I don't know that. I know there's a lot of mobs, which is pretty much the main thing that you're going to be looking for when it comes to a. Uh, you know, farming, because, you know, obviously you want as much frost leaf as possible, thus the most humanoid mobs would be the best. So, uh, it, it, it might actually work out to where, uh, it's a good, it's a good instance to farm, because I'm um, thinking of it right now, and there's quite a few hum humanoid mobs throughout that whole entire instance. So, uh, it's one of those things where I'd, I'd have to test it out, but I, it's a little bit lower level of an instance, so the mobs won't be dropping as much frost leaf, so it's one of those things where I would highly recommend, um, you, uh, <clears throat> like uh, if you if you need the achievement, run it once. But I wouldn't recommend running it more than once, unless you thoroughly test it out or ask me to thoroughly test it out, which I probably wouldn't mind doing. I'll just run a few characters through there for the achievement. Now, um, as I mentioned in my previous Ukar Pinnacle videos, when uh, when I was farming the instance five times to show you the math videos, um, when it comes when it comes to Scatty, you want to make sure that uh, you want to make sure that you bring him down on this on the first possible cycle, which uh. After you get up there, you kill the two harpooners, and the very next mob that comes, or the very next uh, pack that comes out, has a harpooner in it. So uh, you wanna you wanna take out the two harpooners, and then kill the next pack which has a harpooner in it, and then you'll be able to bring Scatty down out of the sky right from there. So keep that in mind. Uh, <clears throat> if you if you don't bring him down, you're gonna have to wait an extra. It's like 30 seconds, which is you know 30 seconds isn't that big of a deal, but it is a bit of an inconvenience. So Keep that in mind. Also, another thing is Scatty doesn't drop um, he doesn't drop uh, his mount on normal. So if you want a chance at his mount, you'll have to run it on heroic. But I don't recommend really running this on heroic because you're pretty much just going to be wasting your time. Um, and if you do happen to run it, say you just you know you it's a OCD thing and you really want the mount and you run it every once a day for the mount. Only only go up to Scatty and then zone out and reset the instance. You don't want to go past Scatty. Sorry, I'm hiccuping, burping. Just goes to show that I don't prepare for this narration stuff. Um, I'm trying to think now. Blah, blah, blah. We're coming up to like the hardest part of the instance. My, I'm probably going to have to run this an additional time because uh, I want to get as much stuff in my inventory as possible. And then we're going to farm Vashir, and then we're going to be heading off to Goldthorn. And if I, if I run this an additional time, I might actually have to um, stop in between Utgard Pinnacle and... Uh, Goldthorn to uh, compress all the videos again, which is lovely. It's like another hour down of uh, time that I'm gonna have to spend just sitting there watching the videos compress while I'm anxious to get some get some work done. Uh, but then later today, uh, I'll be able to actually upload all of those videos to YouTube. Uh, it's gonna take like a six hours. So if you're listening to this and you're wondering where other videos are, then and it's because they haven't uploaded yet. Calm your uh, calm your nerves. Slow your roll, Sparky. It's a, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's it's gonna take a while. I have a lot of videos to upload. I've so far I've made uh, close to 80 videos, and I still got another 20 at least in mind that I want to make for each of the items. Um, a little explanation guide for each of the items when it comes to the auction house. So um, yeah, there's there's a lot to this guide. I and I can't stress enough that you rec uh, I can't recommend and stress enough that you uh. Watch all of my videos that I've created for this guide. Listen to all the videos that I've created for this guide. Um, some of them don't even have narration, so you can exempt those. Uh, but other videos uh, that do have a full set of narration, 
then uh, you will want to listen to them because chances are I do say something intelligent at some point during that video. But uh, if you're not if you're not a big narration type of person like me, all of the information is on my website. Uh, every single thing I say in the videos, I never I never like some, the videos are missing some of the information that's on my website because I obviously can't think of everything um, in a single you know 15 minute video. So everything 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 is on my website. Um, I can't stress how important it is enough to read the website, read every single page, and reread every single page. The, the more the more you let all the information sink in, the more money you're going to make, and the easier you're going to be making the money without having to stress out and you know all that fun stuff. So, <clears throat> reading the website extremely important. Uh, can't stress it enough. And also, for anybody that doesn't believe my guide, I also created math pages on top of that on the index page of my uh, of that guide on my website. I prove uh, I proved ten thousand five hundred gold in just fifty minutes, and that's just sitting there staring at the auction house the entire time. That's actually not doing any farming at the same time, which I always am farming at the same time. You know, obviously besides right there because I had to sit at the auction house and watch it, watch my sales to take pictures of them. Um, Trying to think what else I wanted to say. Uh, as you can see, we're approaching the end of uh, this. Will be our second Ukar Pinnacle run. I'm actually not gonna have to stop the video before the boss since I started it pretty much a little bit, actually a lot later into the instance than you know I normally do. So uh, we'll be able to show the boss and then the first little bit of the next instance in this video. And then let me see. We're averaging. Oh, I didn't get much frost weave during this run at all. Um, we're averaging like two and a half stacks, I think, of frost weave per run with these videos. So uh, it's something to keep in mind. Um, we're probably going to run it one more time. I mean, ultimately, I probably could if I really cared to run it two more times, which hell, I might actually do just to make you know everything as accurate as possible. And also, we'll have more items to sell when we do get to the auction house and mail it to the auction house character. The only downside about that is I'm going to have an extra video, or actually extra two videos to compress, which is you know, an extra like 40 to 50 minutes of my time, especially if they're 10 minutes and left. So we'll see how I feel towards the end of the next video. I'm kind of getting bored of Ukard Pinnacle right now. Uh, uh, my trinket's down. Um, I, I'd actually like to switch the instances up right now. I would uh, like, you know, just throwing it out there. If I had my choice right now, I would probably go to Gundrak. Just a little bit easier of an instance, a little more relaxed. Um, and it's one of those things where it's just <clears throat> that that would be. I just want to run Gun Drac. I haven't gotten the achievement on this character yet, or even Drac Theron. Um, one of those two instances would be a a nice alternative right now. Just uh, I find farming fun, so it's just I haven't done those instances. I haven't farmed those instances in a while, so I'm just throwing that out there. That if I had to choose, that's where I would go right now. But uh. Ultimately, I'm stuck in Ukar Pinnacle because that's what my guide says to do, and this is the best farming instance that I have found. I've tested them all. This is this happened to be the best. So that's it's it's very important. Like if you do want to make the best money, I pretty much still recommend coming here. It's a highest level instance. Um, well, it's one of the high, higher level instances. You'll be getting a lot of frost weave while farming here. Um, you'll be getting pretty much the most frost weave while farming here. I should say. Because the mobs are an extremely high level, they generally drop up to a gold at once. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, sometimes you know when looting a mob, you can get a, in a complete, a complete uh, single piece of gold. After you complete the instance, it's easy to reset it because you can just run out right here. Like the boss is there, and here's the exit portal. You can just run out, reset, and run back in. That's very important when uh, when it comes to repeatedly farming the same instance over and over and over. Like uh, at the end of LBRS, there's no way you can easily get back to the entrance to reset it. You have to do a lot of running to get back to the entrance. Uh, Botanica, that's another one of the instances where the exit portal is right behind the main boss. Now, say you got bored of Botanica and you wanted to run another instance. I've tried Mechanar, Mechanar because that, that was the first instance that came to my mind because the exit portal is right next to the end boss as well. But I ran Mechanar like four or five, six times, and I just did not get nearly as much money as I did while farming Botanica. There just wasn't, uh, there was like half the amount of mobs in Mechanar, and uh, that means you're going to be getting half the amount of loot, and you're going to have to spend double the amount of time in there. So I recommend against Mechanar. Uh, a good instance that I uh, have found besides Botanica to farm was Shattered Halls. The only downside about Shattered Halls, though, was there is no exit portal at the very end. 
So you'd have to log your character out, then log back in at a later time in order to continue running the instance, which I don't have to tell you how much of a pain in the ass that is. Um, <clears throat> so that that's something to keep in mind. Uh, when it comes to running instances, you always want to make the exit portal as close to, as close as possible in order to reset the instance. Um, <clears throat> another thing along that uh, uh, along those lines, as I mentioned in my previous videos, why I start with UBRS when I'm going to do multiple runs is because it's so easy to get back to the beginning. Um, once again, Ugar Pinnacle definitely pretty much the best instance that I've found to farm. And as I've mentioned time and time again, you can farm other instances. Don't think this is the only one. The only ones that I would recommend against farming at all times would be Halls of Reflection, because it's just too damn hard, and only the very first little bit has mobs that drop loot. Uh, Forge of Souls, it's too damn hard. And uh, Pit of Sauron, well actually, I would like to try Pit of Sauron. It's still an extremely hard instance, so um, I'm not 100% sure if it would be smart to farm. I mean. Probably certain classes could do it quite easily. Any classes with a ton of self-healing um, would probably be able to breeze through Pit of Sauron. Well, not breeze through, but you'd have an easier time in, in Pit of Sauron than uh, most other classes. But uh, And you also have a chance that the Battered Hilt, which drops in there, which you might be like, Battered Hilt, nobody wants that anymore. Hey, the Battered Hilt still leads into a quest that gives an achievement. People still want achievements, so Battered Hilt probably sells for more than it did during Wrath. But, you know, it's something extremely rare to get, and chances are, you know, running the instance, you probably won't get it. So, it's not something to get your hopes up. Plus, uh, here you have a much better chance of getting a Book of Glyph Mastery, which will sell for, like, a ton of gold. So, I mentioned that in my, uh, the video where I kill the king. Just the single video where I kill the king. But, uh, I'm actually going to stop this video now and continue with, uh, the next video. So, yeah.